here I am at the, uh, the first, on the, in the fairway on the first uh, tee, on the first hole, and uh, what I'm going to do is to attempt to, to show you what I learned from uh, some videos from a gentleman named Tom Tomasello. He is uh, on the lynnblake.com website, and uh, he has uh, enlightened me to some <clears throat> to some information about the golf swing that I've never really comprehended. Basically what he does in his uh, in his uh, videos, he explains to you how you actually uncock your elbow and your wrist totally, and also your left wrist, before you actually come into the ball and swing from the inside out like to first base and causing the ball to actually go straight. If you set up the club face square at a dress, you actually come back, you totally uncock, go to hit toward from inside out, hit toward the first base, and the ball will actually go straight. My first clip that I did was probably not focused properly, so I've gone in and uh, explained this again. I'm, uh, here I'm going to hit, 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 attempt to hit a fairway shot uh, to the right side of the fairway toward the green. This is a par five. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. This this has really, really worked work, work well at home with my iron. So I'm not, I'm, it's pretty cold out here today, and I'm kind of stiff. So uh, we'll have to see what's going to happen here. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, okay here, here we are on the second hole. And uh, first hole we had a par. We uh, hit one off the tee to the fairway, one fairway uh, into the green with a uh, with an eight iron, a two putted for a par. Here I'm gonna attempt to make a better shot this time than I did last time using the same swing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna swing back, uncock the elbow pull through and just sweep the ball off the tee. We ain't hitting at the ball. We're uncocking before we get there and going on through the ball. Let's see what that's going to do. Perfect shot. It went down the right side of the fairway, draw it back into the middle. Real easy shot to repeat. Okay, here we are on the uh, second, uh, on the, actually the third hole. I didn't record the par three for hole number two, but here we are at about 180 yards, I guess, 80, 85 yards from the green uh, in the, on the third hole. Uh, here, on this hole, I'm going to attempt to hit a five iron. Uh, and what I have found out so far with hitting my driver and my longer clubs, the uh, the, I, I don't have to hit as, I guess hit as far out to the right toward first base as I normally would. I can hit more toward the, I, I call it toward the second baseman. Now with my shorter clubs, that's not true. I've got to hit more toward the, uh, the first base position uh, to, keep, to keep the ball from uh, going to the left of my target. 
So here I am going to hit a five iron. We'll see what happens. Same swing, same method. Okay, it's a great shot. It went straight toward the green. Uh, it came up a little bit short. It's cold out here, so that was that was expected. But uh, I got solid contact, swinging from the inside, extending this right arm and un uncocking the elbow and the wrist, and also this wrist, and coming through the ball. Probably I probably swung out between between first and second base with this longer club, and it uh, it seemed to work real good. Hit it straight. Okay, here we are, still on the third hole. Uh, I, hit my, I just got hit, hit my five iron. I probably came up 10 yards short of the green, so I'm going to take a pitching wedge, and I'm going to try to chip that thing up very close to the hole. Now, I'm going to use the same method of uh, doing this chip. I'm going to line up my, my club face toward the hole, and when I come back, I'm going to completely, un I'm not going to do a big back swing, but I'm going to have a I'm going to completely uncock my, my trailing arm, my trailing elbow, and wrist, and this, I'm going to uncock this wrist, and I'm going to hit it from the inside, and it should take that thing directly to the pin. Keep, keep in mind, I'm hitting this thing from the inside, and as I come through the ball, it's going to square the club face and hit the thing square. Very good shot. Uh, I'll take them all day long. Okay, now we're on the fifth hole. We're fixing the tee off on the fifth hole. We're going to do exactly the same thing again. Uh, what, I've, what I've been learning with my longer clubs, like my driver, and uh, this is the first time I've hit my three wood, but I'm going to, I'm going to come, I'm going to come, I'm going to rotate my wrist a quarter of a turn, come back on plane uh, for my backswing. Then I'm going to uncock my right wrist, my elbow and my wrist, and also my leading wrist. And as I come through the ball, I'm gonna come through and probably hit. I'm gonna say about about two uh, about two o'clock, and then come through and drive through and rotate my left wrist. And it should create a little small draw. But I uncock back here, and as I come through the ball, my wrist is flat. My, li my left left wrist is flat going through the ball, and I ro roll my left wrist come through to the follow through. We'll see what happens. went straight right down there inside the 150 yard marker exactly where I wanted it to go
key. I'm on a ninth hole, ninth hole tee box, and it's uh, pretty much straight away. So I'm going to try to get the thing down the right side of the fairway, and hopefully it'll, it'll draw back a little bit. That one drawed a little bit too much. So it's on the left side of the fairway. I'm going to hit one more ball and uh, hit it a little bit more to the right this time. Put it back in the stance a little bit and see what happens. That's perfect. Started out down the right side, draw it back to the middle. Okay, I'm starting the back nine. This is the tenth hole. Some of the things that I learned on this uh, on the first nine is one, I can't move the ball too far forward. If I do, it's uh, it's going it's to push more out to the right. So I had to move the ball back, and, uh, and I had to, to hit a little bit more to the right. Now, if you put, push it up too far forward. When you come into the club, the club face is going to be closed and it's going to create a real big hook. So what I'm going to try on this, on the back side, is I'm going to try doing the same swing as I did on the first, first nine on the front side, but I'm going to open my club face up just a little bit more to see if I can get a straighter ball flight. And, uh, but I'm going to still uncock my, uncock my swing. This time I'm going to pull, I'm going to do more of a swinger. I'm going to pull more with my left side. And let my club face square up as it comes through the ball, and uh, and then do the release, roll my my wrist. Let's see what that does. I may hit one one or two balls here. Depends on how it turns out. I put the ball a little bit off of my left heel. I'm gonna aim more toward the center of the fairway, but I'm gonna swing more out to about I'm gonna say uh, to about to about the second base but I got my club face open just a little bit more. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I hit the ball good, except it still drew too much. So what I'm gonna do is aim with my club face open a little bit more than I did on the front nine, but I'm gonna aim more out toward the uh, first base, between the second baseman and the first base. That ended up about the same place as though. I got I, I to hit more toward first base. So let me hit more toward first base and see what happens with my club face open. That's what I got to do. That's the shot I want right there. All right, that, that was perfect. So I got to hit more toward second. Toward the first base, between the second baseman and the, say, the, and the second baseman and the first baseman. 
and uh, that shot did go to the right side of the fairway so I've got to align more to the left and but I got to hit more to the right if that makes any sense. Okay, we're on hole number 11. This is a dog, it's a par 5 dog leg left. Okay, what I'm going to do this time, since I've been trying to make some adjustments in my swing, is I'm going to address the ball with a slight, just a slightly open club face, uh, just like, just a little bit more open than what I've been doing. I'm going to align my body more to the left, and I'm going to swing more out to the right toward first base, a little bit more than I have. What's been happening is I've still been hooking the ball too much. I just want it to draw just a little bit and not a lot. So I'm going to do that, uh, correct for that, by opening my club face a little bit and starting the ball a little bit more out to the right. Hopefully it'll draw back in the middle of the fairway. This, uh, this hole right here has got a same trap probably about 200 yards out. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to try to hit over it since it's so cold. I'm going to start it out kind of about 10 to 15 yards to the right of the same trap and hopefully it'll, it'll draw back just to the right of the sand trap and, uh, and roll down this hill. This is a par five. I'm going to try to only get there in, uh, in, uh, in the, on the third shot. I'm going to open the clip. My, my stance open a little bit more, and I'm going to swing more out to the right, uncocking my, my elbow and my wrist, both my wrists, and going through the ball like that. All right, let's see what happens. Well, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. It went real straight. So, let me just line back up like I've normally been doing. A little bit more to the right. And uh, slightly open the club face. And maybe I uncock my wrist a little bit. Uh, maybe I didn't finish swing through. I don't know what I did. But let's do it. Let's try it one more time. Put the ball a little bit far forward. That's the shot I wanted, exactly right there. It started out right there, and it drawed back to, I don't know if you can see that little bitty pine tree. It, went, it, it landed and started rolling toward that pine tree. All I did then, though, was move my ball just a little bit forward. So moving it back to a little bit actually caused me to push it out to the right. Other than that, it was the same swing. We're on uh, hole number 14. It says it's 341 yards. I learned something on my last hole that I that I didn't realize. When I was turning, I was keeping keeping my my head behind this shoulder and uh, and not really having a real, real good view of where I was going to be hitting the ball. So what I did is I keep my head turned this way and un uncock while I'm still looking that way so I know where my chin comes my, my my shoulder comes back underneath my chin and then that way I can uncock and come through the ball a little bit better. I got a lot better ball flight out of that last tee shot I had back there. I'm gonna try the same thing here this time. I'm gonna take take the ball out toward that tree just on the other side of the lake and hopefully it'll draw back. Let's see what it'll do. That's exactly what it did. Very good shot. Man, I amazed myself. I just can't remember this stuff. <laughs> 